Foxy Doji, hello! Good evening! <laughs> Starting stream a bit early today because I'm excited for something later. Hi, Bandit! Welcome, everybody! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> today I'm going to be playing a game that's near and dear to my heart. As you can see, I already have a 100% achievement level, so this is not a blind playthrough. <laughs> hi, Vivlio! Oh, here to moderate and abuse? Awesome! Oh, hi, Garrick! Hello! <laughs> so, this game is One Way Heroics. Plus, uh, this is the DLC for it. Hi, Fang! This is kind of a roguelite. Uh, as in, you can... Uh, you earn some perks as you like play along and uh, get more experience and whatnot. Uh, this is probably the most powerful build. As you can see, I'm a hero and... Ah, wait, let me select my new perks. We want to become a pro wrestler. This is going to make perfect sense. And you start out with a small castle, but eventually you'll be able to expand it and place more residents there for bonuses. Uh, we're not interested in that at the moment. Mm, though, uh, maybe... Hmm... I think that we can get rid of this armor guy and replace him with... Yeah, let's get a cute girl! Yeah. <laughs> Safe? Yes? Alright. We're a cute little hero. Look at our cute green hair. Now to start our adventure. Well, will start off in a randomized world. Unless you guys have, like, a string that you want to input. <laughs> Besides, pro wrestling is VTubing for normies. You're right and you should say it. Hmm. What if we put in our name? Hooray! Ah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I wonder what kind of world we'll see here. Hmm. On one hand, I do want to show off to you guys by going with Inhumane Odyssey, but uh, since this is my first time showing it to you guys, let's go for a quick afternoon stroll. Mm -hmm. Regarding Freya, here are the words of the beautiful fortune teller Oris. This is a new dimension, and the rules of the world have also changed. For example, combo hit rate now varies significantly depending on the weapon. If you assume the combo hit rate for hand-to-hand -hand combat is 1, swords are 1.3, spears are 1, and axes have 0.6 combo hit rate. Swords have become best suited for battle here. Spears are still useful for long-range attacks. Axes are good when using skills that don't result in combo hits, and for destroying walls. Please use each of these weapons in situations where they're best suited. Now we're going to use our fists for everything. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, uh, because I died my last playthrough, that's why our body has memories of being defeated by the Demon Lord. Actually, maybe it isn't in One Piece. My memories of my old body are already fading. And that's all I have to say about it. Thanks, King Victor. It is a only a small token, but allow me to bestow a few items to help in your journey. A few simple healing medicines and herbs. These are going to be our best friends. I know it will be a tough journey, but we leave the destruction of the Demon Lord to you, Freya. I will be leaving this castle behind as well. I hope we are able to meet once more. Now it is time to depart. I pray for your success. It's okay, I'm experienced. Even though I died last time. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got an extra food here, and healing vial. Uh, don't pay attention to what it says about the dimensional passageway. We're not gonna be using that this time. Oh, I can help change your fate so that you meet a specific woman. Is there a woman you are wanting to meet during this campaign? Ah, uh, yes. We have the golden-haired queen, the half-beast healer, and the lost girl. Let's go for the healer. Now then, let's... Arrange fate so that you will meet her. Yeah! It will appear once every six to nine days. Yeah. 
She's great. You are leaving me behind as well, aren't you? There is no way I can outrun the coming darkness. Yeah, on the left side of the screen you can see that darkness over there. So I will at least do my part by telling you about upcoming areas. Yeah, reveal the next friendly areas on our map. Oh, I guess this is goodbye for me. Do your best to reach the end. We'll save the world. Madam. And as you can see, we have a fairy companion, so we can talk to her. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Iris. I'm an artificial fairy created by King Victor. He's amazing, isn't he? There aren't bound to be many fairies around here, so you can just call me fairy if you want. Oh, and I am the one in charge of helping you on this journey. Anything I can help with? Hmm. And about you, Iris, do you have a question? Uh, a question? Wait, why would I ask you questions? I'm the one who's supposed to be answering the questions, not giving them. Hmm, well, I guess I will think on it at least. But it still feels strange. <laughs> we cherish you, Iris. Yeah, as you can see, whatever falls into the left side of the screen, the darkness, dies. So let's try not to fall to the left side of the screen. It only moves when you move. And it also means that you can't backtrack, so you gotta be really careful with your route. Ooh, feral dog! Oh, there's a traveling chef somewhere, as you can see on the bottom. <laughs> it killed something. Good for them. Yeah, reach level two. When you level up, a random stat increases. Ah! Oh no, the chef died! Oh no, but traveling chefs are really important. And damage is multiplied when you're attacked by the sides or the back. <gasps> yeah, we've learned Zanira Weave now that we've reached level 3. Using it bestows great power, and it's going to be very important during this playthrough. But not yet. Not yet. I'll show you what it does later. Are you guys excited? <laughs> hmm. Heavy armor. No, we're not gonna need that. <laughs> Call the chat your Anichan. Okay. <laughs> are you excited, Anichan? Aniki, are you proud of me? <laughs> are you going doki doki? Doki doki suru. Oh, this is a real heavy sword. Mm. And that case, uh. No, even if we eat this, we won't have enough room for it, huh? Hmm... I gotta balance all of our equipment. I don't think we'll need the jerry-rigging scroll. And maybe if we eat the stamina herb? Yeah, we aren't at a loss for stamina right now, but our energy is really important. <laughs> you approve? I'm glad. Hmm... Oh, this is all too important. Ah, this is a skill missionary! They can teach us skills, but, uh, I don't think that we have enough of anything for that. And besides where we're going, we won't need skills! Ooh, this is a tough bat! That triangle under it denotes that it has a special modifier, so if we defeat it, we'll get more EXP than usual. Yeah, max life! Hmm, would've preferred some more strength, but ah oh well. Max stamina. Oh, that is beyond useless. I'm sticking to the left side of the screen even though it's dangerous because 
Uh, if you go too far to the right, then the darkness will speed up, and I want to really take in my surroundings. Strategizing. Supplementary armor. Yeah, why not? We could use a shield. And there's a lot of items around here, though. And, uh... Amina herb. Roll of analysis. This could be useful. Hmm... Let's take it and we can drop it if we end up not needing it. And let's eat the herb. Ooh, heavy shield! That is really useful! If we, uh... I don't know. Uh... Pick this up and then use the. Well, is this worth keeping? Ooh, this is pretty weak, huh? Yeah, it's only got 17 uses left. And. Mm, yeah, it would be better to just uh, buy a new one. This herb? Tentacle weed. Yay! The tentacle weeds are important. Or, well, they're useful, rather. Is this a town? Yeah, it's a town. Oh, bottle of fuel, I do not want that. Do not play with fire. Armor dealer. Well, first let's sell all of these arrows that we don't have any use for. Treasure chest key. Hmm. I don't anticipate needing to open a lot of chests. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, yeah, 80 silvers is 80 silvers. Hi, Zakuichi! Welcome! I'm playing a nice game where the world is ending. You see that darkness in the... Uh, on the left side of the screen? Hmm. Yep, as things should be. Uh, let's see, how do I skip a turn again? I forgot how to skip a turn, but that's okay. Another scroll of analysis, neat. Ah, missed an item there. Ooh, bad feeling? Yeah, that means that something is going to happen tonight. We're not gonna face the demon lord, but... I don't think that we can afford to just sit here and eat it, so let's drop the analysis scroll. Okay, now we can eat this. Ah, uh, we are running low. Ooh, many demons. Oh geez. This is spawning skeleton enemies! The skeletons will stay here for a while until the presence vanishes. And they're slow, but they're much stronger than usual enemies. As you can see, that did five damage even when shielded instead of one. But we got a cursed bone at least. Ah, uh, this red caped one. Yeah, not a fan. In this case, I am running to the right because I want to un outrun it. Oh, an appraiser! <sighs> oh, hi gaming gubbin! Gubbins! <laughs> yeah, this is a nice game, right? Mm. Ah! <laughs> ah, well. Well, get him next time! 
Can't escape evil bone farming. Why are you right, though? I remember getting it for 80p years ago. It is really good. Like, how far have you gotten into it? The story is just amazing. Playing it relentlessly and forgetting it existed. <laughs> Again? Ooh, and we have a tavern coming up. Uh, I cannot recall. I now have a desire to dive back to it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's so good. Wait, who's this? <laughs> no, no, I've been playing this for a while now, old man. <laughs> Anyway, there's a river here that's in the way, so we gotta avoid that. What's this scroll here? And this little doggo. No other enemies. Parchment of Levitation. That might come in handy. And like, if we need to, uh, like, go past the river or anything like that. herb, nice. I love those good herbs. Oh! And let's see, the old woman didn't tell us about this place, so it must be a dungeon. It's full of enemies. And the door is, I guess, on the northern side of it, so there's... Uh, no busting in. Unless I destroy the wall, but that would take too much of my sword's durability, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh, magic bridge! This is especially useful. Ah, and that's a Jade Forest member. They're here to protect the forests. Even when the world is ending. Look, they're very dedicated to their jobs. Uh -huh, max life, etc. Healing herb. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that I'm just gonna eat this. The hero class's weakness is that while they have great stats everywhere else, their sides and back are especially vulnerable, even more than other classes. That's why they're best uh, combined with lots of companions. This is also the last class that you unlock in this game. Now you are the one-way hero. Eating is important. Eat up, everybody. Now that we have a magic bridge, there's not really much use for a uh, parchment of levitation, so let's drop this. Ah, yes! Yes, yes, these are great. Ah, I meant to pick it up, not to eat it right away. Ah, oh, well, well, well. Yes, fruit. I'm so thankful. Since we don't know what the sword is, we might as well sell it. So, since it's so inexpensive, I'm guessing that it has like a cheap enchantment on it or something. 
And then, uh, what's more important? Okay, I think that I'm just gonna get these. <laughs> and, uh, what's this NPC again? Hey, cool lady. Red crust. Gotta keep your energy up. And we don't really have the room to get it out to go, so... Let's punch a hole in their village and leave. Goodbye. Oh, hi, Blue Mew! I got Mystery Chronicle One-Way Heroics. Did you play that too? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh... I mean, I guess the gameplay is expanded a bit, uh, though there are some decisions that I don't entirely agree with, like the traps, for, ex for example. Um, but I guess the new classes are pretty unique. I just wish that they, uh, like, hadn't completely obliterated the story like that. It's like they had tried to imitate it, but make it more edgy, but in the process, it really robbed the characters of all of their depth. The story is so good. Oh, whoops. Oh, this is a boss dog. Yeah, extra EXP. Weight limit, awesome. Ah, dang, it's the skeletons again. fun with your run and thank you for streaming this. I will very much likely re-download and dig into this over the next few days, so many thanks. Have so much fun! Have so much fun gaming gubbins. <laughs> okay, still have to play it. My motivation is at an all-time low for playing new games. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel you. That's why I'm getting nice and comfortable, like, all in my element. All with my 100% completion. Is this where the armor dealer was? Hello. Mm -hmm. I don't need any of this, so... Yep. And I see that there's an item here. Scroll of Confusion. Ah, this can also be pretty useful. Holy dagger piece. Mm. Now we don't have enough silvers for that. And the Meditation Herb is mostly useful for mage classes. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the Confusion Herb just in case. How's this merchant? This one is not a caped skeleton, so should be okay. Ooh, dimensional gold coin! You'll learn what that means as you proceed with the story. Oh, no, 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 nope, nope. Okay, good, it walked away. Analysis, we don't have anything to analyze. Three hours until the demon lord appears. Let's head to a wide open space. Ah. Protected by 15 barriers since it's our first time seeing them. So, here are the hero they are all babbling about. I will finish you off right now before you are able to grow in strength. If you end up dying here, it just means that was all you are made of. Let's go, hero! Mm -hmm. 
Without powerful equipment, you can't hope to defeat the Demon Lord. For now, you must run away, Freya. And running we are. <laughs> yep, can be used twice during an adventure, can make a monster three tiles away into an enemy. The Demon Lord doesn't count, okay? I mean, now that we've... Why can we only use it twice? Because it's OP. Bah, my time is up. You live. For now. Until our next encounter. Remember, you can run, but you can't hide. It's true. The Demon Lord will teleport near wherever we are. Though, if we happen to be in a village at that time, then the villagers will try to attack. And the Demon Lord will, uh, you know, waste time attacking them instead of us. Uh, though be warned that if an enemy attacks an NPC and kills them, then they'll get a plus one or plus two next to their name, which denotes that they're getting stronger. Well, likewise, if any NPCs kill enemies, like the traveling chef that we saw earlier, then they'll also level up. The Demon Lord teleported away. Don't worry, we'll see the Demon Lord again. We still haven't seen Dozy, though. Zombie! Yeah. Agility is great. I just want to be friends with all the monsters. Unfortunately, this isn't Undertale. And this is a kennel! It's full of feral dogs! Somebody just lock them in. Free EXP. Yes, yes. Forming an orderly line. Yeah, eat this. In that time, I meant to eat it right away since we had less than 30 energy. And a fruit heals 70. Energy is really important because if it dives below, like, I think 10%, then your speed will be drastically reduced along with your attack. Oh, that is powerful! Uh, this goblin over here, it has a frightful stench, which means that attack and accuracy get minus 10% and receive 2 damage every turn. And uh, you can see that we're two tiles away. Uh, this is still a dangerous spot to be in. All of the monsters that we've seen so far have only been able to attack from one tile away, but these have like rocks that they can throw at you from a distance. So never stay in a straight line from one. Mm -hmm. Control X to wait. Yeah, big stone. We don't want those stones. Bad feeling? Mm. And over here, the door is on the south end. It can be a bit of a pain when the dungeon's entrances are inaccessible. Yeah, but that's just the price. <gasps> a tree! We got it. Yes! Finally, is Ah, uh, the skeletons again. At any rate, let's pick this up. Mm. Mm, eat this herb. And this one too, why not? Yeah, just to top ourselves off. Problem. No 
Ooh, another magic bridge. Eat this herb and pick this up. All right. Any other monsters? Yes. too wholesome, I leave for 15 minutes and there's nothing to moderate. That's right, Vivlio. Dance of Freya Fukunaga would never say the F word. Ah, somewhere to the right you can sense a kindred spirit. That's our friend. Ah, let me check my stats. Ah, I'm still not going to be able to recruit her. I still need one charisma level. We've uh, reached level 19, but still haven't had a charisma increase, huh? It's okay, she'll respawn. Another one? Wait, so only one of them is Dozy and the other is randomly generated? Ah, geez. That one's got a cape. Mm, we can use a scroll of confusion on it if we need. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Meet Panty. What a name. I'll join your party for 50 silvers per day. Don't think you can skimp out. Unfortunately, we can't afford that. <laughs> Farewell. But I'm telling you, you will regret not asking my help. He is very strong. And I like him. I guarantee I will jump in to save your sorry hide at least 10 times. You better rethink this, got it? Panty, we're poor. I'm sorry, Panty. Hmm. Now we can't spare the silvers right now. For now, let's focus on getting out of here. Ah! Viv, why? <laughs> what happened? I didn't see. Uh. Okay. If you can't beat him, make him join you. <laughs> he knows what he did. <laughs> yeah, if we didn't make this skeleton our ally, then it would have killed us. Hmm? Gonna bounce bandwidth is being a mom fricker. All right, have a good time, Garrick. Bye bye. We promised to... Uh, oh, something good is gonna happen! Not die this run! Promise to not die this run. <laughs> I do like that mobile moderation controls lets you choose the timeout length. OBS defaults to 10 minute timeouts, I see. Actually, how do I access uh, the timeout? Oh, wasn't thinking. How do I access mod view on mobile? I haven't been able to see that. Ah, oh, Hero, can you hear me? I am the goddess of time, Kronos. If you wish it, I can use my power to record your progress. Nobody saves in a roguelike lady. 
Uh, no, away. That's so terrible. Uh, farewell. That's too bad. <laughs> Healing herb. Can never have too much herb. But we don't have room for it, so let's eat it right away. Light is raining down from the sky. Life and energy restored! Oh boy, oh boy. And attack and stuff is increased for a short time. Alright. Oh! Demon Lord's here already! It's okay. We can outspeed. We've got the agility. This time, you won't leave here alive. You just click a chat name and options pop up. Ah, I see. Because I didn't see the sword on mobile. One hour until the Demon Lord disappears. Okay, the knights got him distracted. There. Thank you, knight. <laughs> Aw, it's our friend. There's a traveling chef. Hello. Mm, we don't need the extra life, so let's take... Mm. Wait, no, we still have 87 energy, so we don't need it at the moment. Uh, though we still don't have any charisma. Come on, give me charisma! Yes! Finally, at level 24. <laughs> what thief have you considered? Breakfast muffins. It's about the muffins, my dudes. Another traveling chef. They're dead now! Uh, fatigue cure, we don't need that. And we definitely don't need a vial of stamina. I really need to learn the typed shortcuts. I'm pretty sure they're very like the IRC ones. And I have trouble remembering, like, everything. <laughs> hey, good job, Phantom. Maybe we should name our little knight. What do you guys think? Maybe... Mm, Bonesworth? Yeah, thank you for saving me! All it needed was a bit of brainwashing. Ooh, treasure map. No, we don't have any keys with us. <gasps> Fruit, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we'll need it soon, but for now we can just eat the antidote herb. See the remaining life and position of both friends and foes for a hundred turns. Huh. I don't think I've used this one before. Ah, I see. So this would be useful if you wanted to, say, level grind. 
or check on where you can find villages or potential allies. So for one, it looks like there's a village up there. Oh, look, it's a prairie otter! You can fight this, but it's not hostile. Uh, if you wonder why you would want to fight it, it's because it's endangered and gives a very rare pelt. You can sell it for a lot of money or use it to increase your stats. Unfortunately, there's some side effects to that. Oh, hi! Hello, eager hexarchs! <laughs> Spare the otter, yeah. Ooh, what does this bracelet do? I just don't know. Get rid of all of the arrows. I don't think that we need any more dimensional coins since I'm pretty satisfied with the castle that I have now. But uh, I'm also a hoarder. I'm glad none of the townspeople judge me for bringing a skeleton in here. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm not ready for this side quest. <sighs> the father looking for his daughter. Excuse me, do you not know my daughter? She got lost on her way here. Well, if we find her, let's help her out. If she's still alive, that is. Yeah, there are families fleeing the darkness encroaching from the left side of the screen, for all of you just tuning in. The darkness that consumes... consumes all. And we can't save everyone, but we can try to stop the darkness as soon as we can, so that it doesn't, like, kill everyone in the world. Crossing through borders, going without rest or sleep, more hours until the demon lord appears. Another fruit, so lucky! In that case, I think that we can drop the shield. We haven't even needed to use ours very much. Let's... Uh, this time you won't leave here alive. See, uh, the demon lord just burned our uh, healing herbs to scorched buds, but at least we have a bit more of a head start on them now, and we can go to the village here. Yeah, there we go. All distracted. Who's this? Thanks. Bah, my time is up. You live. For now. <laughs> hey, are you alright? Ah, bracelet of stagnation that decreases EXP. You know, for a challenge. Or for people who just slap on whatever equipment is expensive without thinking about it. We haven't had that many energy emergencies, so I think that by the time it's relevant, this is going to become rotten. So I'm going to sell this while I can. Oh, by the way, the way that this root rots is that every so often, like every couple, like 
uh, kilometers or something, it makes a check, it like does a random roll, and if the roll turns up, uh, I don't know, then it moves on to the next stage of rotting. So you could hold on to something for like weeks or months and it wouldn't rot if you're lucky enough. Or something might rot like just a couple of steps after you find it. I hope we have good luck. Oh! So our little skeleton over here won't get mad at us even if we hit him! No, but they should get mad at us, though! <laughs> Just like in real life! <laughs> Skeletons don't have rights. Yeah, right, Sig. Ah, Dozy's here now. Dozy, Dozy, give me your answer, do. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Dozy. It's the best girl. Look at her little wolf ears. And their little wolf tail. Um, I'm so hungry I can barely even move. I don't suppose you have a Nayuta fruit to spare? Yeah, really? Thanks so much! <laughs> Look at her. I just love Nayuta fruits. Much, much, much. <laughs> ah, it tastes so refreshing. I'm so happy. <sighs> that is much better. You're my savior. I just got one way Heroics Plus, but I have yet to free her. Free her. <laughs> uh, they, uh, had added a new item, uh, semi-recently, uh, that, uh, allows you to place a little shrine in your castle, lets you summon any female companion you want every six to nine days. Uh, that's what we're using to recruit Dozy over here. One of my local, local supermarkets is so hit or miss on its produce, I feel like I... Threw away 20% of the salad I got there. Ah, uh, that's rough. Can you at least tell me your name? You are Freya? Huh? You are the hero who is traveling in the land in order to defeat the Demon Lord? Is that so? The Demon Lord, huh? Yeah, Dozy over here is a healer. She can't join battles directly, but will take care of all of your healing needs on your journey. Yeah, let's recruit her. The art's super cute in this, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little unpolished since this was made by just one dude, but it's really charming. Huh? But, but I don't see how I could help you in your battle with the Demon Lord. But... Uh, okay, I'll join you. Let me join your party! I just want to do whatever I can to help you. I know you only invited me because you thought I could help out in some small way. So, I'll do my best, Freya! Yeah, the healer Dozy joined your party! Dozy happily wags her tail. Isn't she cute? Yeah. <laughs> We're a beautiful family. Of a fairy, a hero, a wolf girl, and a skeleton. Ah! And that's right! Now that we have Dozy, I can show you guys my ultimate strategy. You see, I wanted to recruit her first before using Zenura Weave. Because, as you can see, when you use it, your intellect and charisma both decrease by a hundred. <laughs> Alright, this makes you super powerful. Your attack is more than doubled, along with your max life and stamina increasing by, like, 150%. No, wait, by 50%, uh, multiplied by 1.5. Your evasion drastically increases, and so does your resistance to force damage. Force damage as in, like, magic, like the fire that the Demon Lord uses. Experience is decreased, but, like, I think that the strength more than makes up for it. So, let's go. Use the hero's signature ability. Preparations are... COMPLETE! I 
Even still, I will continue to protect this world. Gaia, lend me the ferocity of the wilderness. Zendura! No turning back now. <laughs> no clothes now. You've become a bit stupid and lost charisma. Now we can just drop this. We don't need it. Mm, let's keep the sword, I guess. And right, no full body portraits in this one. But let's speak with Dozy. You sure do, Dozy. <laughs> let's speak with Iris. <laughs> we ignored her for a week. <laughs> hmm. She still doesn't have any questions, but that's okay. We've got all the time in the world, Iris. <laughs> we don't need no stinking swords. Let us kill you. <laughs> yeah, our EXP might have massively decreased, but I still think it's worth it. There's actually an EXP bracelet that you can find sometimes that triples your EXP gain. Which doesn't, uh, you know, completely remove the effects of Zenura Weave. I mean, doubles your EXP gain, not triple. If it was triple, then it would, like, undo the effects of Zenura Weave. Oh, a map. Hmm. Not seeing anything so far. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you get EXP just by traveling too. The mountains. It's a bit harder to navigate in that it'll be easier to get locked in by the mountains. But there are a lot of fruits. And Dozy here loves Nayuta fruits. Let's eat one. I love this kind of fruit. Yeah, you can see that eating the fruit increases her affection because you're sharing it. Isn't that cute? And I'm also a fan of the OST. Good job, Phantom Knight! Ooh, Traveling Chef! Though we don't need the chef right now. It would be different if they could sell breadcrumbs, but unfortunately not. Isn't this a an indirect kiss? Oh no, you're right! <laughs> it's okay, we'll just have to get married to Dozy! <laughs> I like to think you don't share it, she's just reminding you she likes the fruit. <laughs> She's just being passive-aggressive. <laughs> oh, whoops. Broke the silver. That's okay. <gasps> Fruit! Yeah, let's pick this up. And eat a scorched bud. Ah, oh, why not? Let's eat both. Thank you for the sip, bad luck, Coon! <sighs> yeah, we reached the first affection level with Dozy. I made a new type of medicine. Why don't you try it out for me? Thinking it will constantly heal your wounds, even while you're fighting. You aren't giving us some kind of drug, are you? It's okay, Dozy, we accept your drugs. Huh? A drug? Whatever do you mean? For 7 turns, this item will replenish your life by 30 points. It's really useful. When it looks like it's a tough battle is ahead, drinking this can make all the difference. And we don't have enough space, so... Hmm... Yeah, let's use the area map again. I can't remember if area maps stack. But, you know, might as well. Ooh. 
There we go! Awesome! We are unstoppable. <gasps> Take this up and let's eat this stamina herb. I'm so proud of this knight. Whoops. Oh no, you're weighed down? It's fine. Oh, short sword's about to break. That's okay. We're stronger without the sword. Aw, oh, man, our healing herb. It's okay. We're just shoving burnt plants into our mouth. Even though it's gonna be a bit harder to avoid in these mountains, but we gotta do our best. Five barriers. You're only using 10% of your true power. That's right. Oh, a hat toggle? All right, Tuxi Doji. Powerful. <laughs> to unlock the other 90%. Should I use a tentacle weed? Nah. Yeah. Survival success. I'm pretty sure that we could defeat the Demon Lord right now if we wanted to, but I want to finish Dozie's chain first. Another fruit! You see what I mean about the mountains being really fruitful? Ah, this is a force teacher. You can tell from the purple hood. Oh. Ah, enemies will temporarily appear more often. That's fine, we can take them all. We have the power of God and nudity on our side. <laughs> Who needs clothes? This is another armor dealer? <laughs> nah, nah. Ooh, short shirt's almost broken, so might as well sell it for the silver. Now we are fighting barehanded. Hey guys, do you remember the skills that we picked in the beginning? Pro wrestling increases your unarmed damage. And we picked pro wrestling five times. Aw oh man, Demon Lord's coming again already? That's right, it's the slap fest, everybody. No, it's... nothing, really. You, do you feel ill? Hmm. You know what, we have a lot of fruit. Let's eat one. Just to cheer up Dozy. This time you won't leave here alive. I'm glad that we can use our little skeleton friend as a shield. Dozy's next event. And our skeleton friend is dying, but that's okay. He's not a true ally. Would you like to hear about my past? We would love nothing more. 
My family lived peacefully in a small valley. One day, the darkness suddenly sprang from the earth and consumed all of them. I was out picking herbs at the time, so I was the only one to survive. Now my village is completely consumed by the darkness. Ever since that day, something strange has started happening to my body. A bunch of fur started covering my ears and I even grew a tail. She wasn't born as a furry. There is a country of beast men, but she's not from there. And recently, I sometimes find myself wanting to bite people near me. You can take a bite out of me anytime, baby girl. What are you saying? Of course I can't do that. <laughs> but... Are you really sure that defeating the Demon Lord will stop the darkness? And what's going to happen to me? I love you, Dozy. One is spoiled into overly ripe. So now it only heals 30 energy instead of 70. But Dozy still likes the overly ripe ones. Because they have a unique sort of ju juiciness. You know, like brown bananas. I think I heard 50 instead of 70. Oh, it was 50. So maybe the 30 was the... Uh, Rotten ones. Hmm. I wonder if we eat a healing herb right now, will it also heal our skeleton friend? No? Okay. It's fine, we didn't have room in our inventory for it anyway. Just let the skeleton heal slowly. Ah no, the next area is a volcano. It'll be a bit rougher in that the enemies will... that a lot of the enemies will have fire attacks. It'll be hard to find food in here. And I think that there are bears too. You know... Bears famously inhabit volcanoes. Hmm. Something good is gonna happen. Oh, good for us. At least bears are susceptible to punching. Yeah. Awesome. And this is another abandoned house. Ooh, absolutely. Pill. Oh, this is super useful. Hmm, what do we do? Since energy hasn't been much of a problem, I'm gonna eat the overly ripened one. Just for Dozy. Just a treat for Dozy. There's a bear! Ah, yes! Dozy's last event! After we beat up this bear, animal meat. We can eat it raw. And now let's talk to Dozy. Hey, Freya! I made a new new type of medicine for you. This one is amazing! If you throw it at an enemy, they'll lose the will to fight. It's like brainwashing. You can use this to avoid strong enemies, or if you make a mistake and attack one of the guards in town. Yay, it's a rare type of medicine, you, so you can sell it at a high price too! No, oh, it's a gift from Dozy. Eh, you're gonna sell it? No! This medicine will work on anything. So anything from powerful monsters, angry guards, or even someone brainwashed to fight. It'd be great if we could make friends with all the monsters. Ah, Only twice an adventure, Dozy. 
<laughs> yeah. I hope we can find some way to bring peace. Yeah, I hope we can all live in peace. He just wants a peaceful world. This cute girl. I love her. Does she really think making all these suspicious drugs will save the world? It will. Anyway, time to fight a bear. Oh, whoops, over encumbered. This artwork is amazing. Yeah, it really is. We haven't needed this shield, so... Yeah, I guess we can drop this. Let's beat up a bear. Yeah. My body feels strange. Are you okay? Freya, Iris. If I start acting strange, please run away immediately. Things will get dangerous. I love you, Dozy. Ooh, no, 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 I am not going to be playing with bombs! A certain other optional party member, uh... Let's say... Uh... Mm, made bombs a real problem. A real problem in our life. You would think that he would have more brains, but... Unfortunately, no, all that he knows is fire. And he's one of the strongest potential party members too, so it's just a real waste. He's so powerful, yet so incredibly stupid. This is the weakest that the Demon Lord is going to get. Oh no, Dozy! Is this a good time to show off the teleport pill, or do I have, uh... No, I don't have any more scrolls of confusion, because I left that one back there. And now we lost our skeleton friend, but that's okay. Ah, yeah, our skeleton friend is dead. It's fine. It's fine, we can get a new one. Volcano, Land of Bears. Ah, oh, wow, we got one Charisma! So as you can see, we only have negative 99 now. Wow. Ooh, in an hour, a tough enemy and their minions will appear. <laughs> Welcome home, Vivlio! Mm. 
we haven't used Awakening yet, so I guess let's try. This pauses time for three turns. Yeah, no sweat. Home to sweet, sweet AC. Nice. And we will appear at the normal right now. And... This... Green mark. I think it's for that plant over there, though I can't remember what it is. Bad feeling? That's okay, our fists can handle everything. Tired? Need food? That's okay. have an herb. And does this village down here have a chef or anything? No bombs. <gasps> Again? Are, are you okay? Done! As you watch, fur starts sprouting all over Dozy's body, and sharp fangs protrude from her mouth. She's turning into a wolf. Now turned into a monster, Dozy turns her piercing gaze towards you. This monster is a killer hound! They're strong enough to wipe out an entire village by themselves. I can't believe that they're actually born from humans. What do we do? Do, do we kill her? Or do we run away? Even if we run away, the darkness will get to her. Definitely a tough opponent. As long as you have an agility skill of level 1, you should be able to outrun her. And we definitely have above that. See, she's all stopped in your tracks. That's right, friends. We befriend her. We might not be able to return her to humanity right now, but we do have that gift that she brought to us, right? Look, now we can talk to her again. Look at her. Ruff. Ruff. Dozy turned into a killer hound. She can no longer heal, but is now stronger than most swordmasters. They let her tag along still? Of course. Woof. Oh, oh. We're friends after all. He promised. Dozy happily wags her tail. <laughs> Oh, the guard says that we're disgraceful because we're naked. It's okay, we're still saving the world. Afraid of fitness, you say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Two. So, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. <laughs> As a moderator, I must also moderate fitness of the streamer. Doing a great job, Viv. You are. Hmm. Now what? Let's spoil ourselves. Let's get a nice and healthy meal. Delicious. Oop, many demons? No problem. Oh, yeah. And let's speak with Dozy again. <laughs> Dozy is whistling the same tune she did when she was a human. I love her. And now we are ready to face the Demon Lord. 
I wanted to show you guys Dozie's story. She's a pretty basic sort of companion, and well, the sorts of companions that you're like, that are available to you are randomized, but she's probably the best one for beginners. <laughs> See Dozie's defense increase too. So that's why I wanted you guys to appreciate her. The same way that I appreciate her. Do you care her? I care her so many. That's right, from healer to DPS. Thanks, Dozy. Dozy helped finish him off. Oh, and that's a golden bird. Uh, we don't have any projectiles. But if we did, we could get so many, uh, like, dimensional coins from it. Ah. Mm hmm. And can you just feel the girl power from this team? Just some gals being pals. Oh, and since we're below 50 right now, I should show you what happens when we eat one of these overly ripened Nayuta fruits. Oh, <laughs> she's got a happy wine. Oh, we had another one. I love her so much. Adorable. Yeah. This cute party of cute girls. We must protect. Exactly. Pretty jewel. We can sell that for a lot of money. When will the demon lord come for us? That's right, protect the doggo. And this is especially expensive. I forgot that the volcano uh, spawns jewels more often, too. I guess because of all of the high heat and pressure? Is that how volcanoes work? Ah, and this whetstone, uh, in the base game, it doesn't decrease durability. Uh, so I guess that they had nerfed it because people were hoarding them? Enemies! Fresh meat! The Demon Lord should be coming soon. Yeah, three hours.
Let's use up all of our awakenings. Two, three, and now another one. We did it, fellas. With the help of our good friend Dozy. Come, let us end this now, hero. The Demon Lord screams and unleashes their remaining force power. Freya also summons their last bit of strength for one final blow. The area is suddenly consumed by a whirlwind of light and thunder as their blows collide. Freya is pushed back by more power than anticipated. It is at that moment the Demon Lord lets out an evil laugh. Victory is mine! At that moment, as if in defiance to this final threat, the Demon Lord's power weakens, and Freya's final blow drives through the Demon Lord's body as if it were being absorbed. No one watching quite understood what exactly took place next. The Demon Lord collapsed to the ground, never to rise again. At the same time, the encroachment of the darkness which had been engulfing the world gradually comes to a stop. We... won? Coming to that realization, the hero suddenly collapses from exhaustion. It was many days of running from the darkness without a single bit of rest. Exhaustion finally takes its toll. The battle is finished. The world is finally safe from the encroaching darkness. Humanity will continue its existence on the small piece of the world still intact. Raya is finally able to relax and immediately collapses completely to the ground. With no longer any reason to stay standing, the hero collapsed finally getting some long overdue rest. Upon awakening in a small village nearby, Freya realizes that the ordeal is finally finished. After awakening, Dosi came and explained everything. Ooh. Still stuck in her killer hound form, Dosi looks up at Freya and lets out a sad whimper. It's obvious she wants to continue with us on our journey. No reason not to bring her along, except for the fact that she sometimes turns into a ferocious killer wolf. Might have to do something about that. <laughs> In this way, the short yet prolonged battle was finally finished. Freya's achievements will be praised by all future generations. However, for now, grant our hero the respite earned through these trials. Searching for a way to cure Dozy's condition. <laughs> well then, thank you. Let's get Dozy over here. Alright, gonna pay attention to the credits. In the meantime, I'm going to set up this raid for a very special person. <laughs> Let's see. Make sure that I am spelling the tag right. <laughs> Are you guys ready for Quill's first stream? Ah, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Belduke, or is he? I am super excited to see. Demon lords get bullied more, but yeah, why do we get bullied? <laughs> oh, so have a good night. See you another time. Okay, bye, Blue! <laughs> yeah, there's Panty. Credits are longer than I remembered. Ah. 
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally waited early. <laughs> anyway, uh, for our folks watching along at home, thank you for coming! <laughs> this has been One Way Heroics and Freya Fukunaga, signing off.